Hey everyone, Hans here. Today a video on how to find the contact information, the email address for local businesses after you scrape Google Maps and you want to reach out to these people. And I'm talking about finding their personal email address like their Gmail address or their professional email address, which you know can, can include some info ads, sales ads, generic emails, but also their, their personal work email address that makes sense to john at companyname.com for example we're using uh, clay obviously epify and um I'm, as always i'm very excited to show you so let's dive in here's the clay table that i built and it's a small sample so i just have 300 rows in there because i uh, couldn't wait to show you and basically the the idea is that very often you're scraping google maps to find um to find local businesses right so in this case we went with um uh, cleaning businesses so i used the um let me see use the google map scraper um so just the basic web scraper that we have right here and again i was just going for a sample so i just grabbed cleaning businesses from new york there are a lot of things you can do here and there's also um, a Google Maps contact info scraper and they will get you the email address, like info ad that is listed on Google Maps if they're listing anything or they will get you stuff from the website. So yeah, that works, but we want to make sure that we're um, increasing our match rate and that we're getting the best possible email from these people. So there are, as with anything, there are multiple ways of doing that. Today, I'll show you one way um, that I found to be um, really interesting because you're getting a lot of emails that you would not ever get from scraping the website or from scraping Google Maps. These are the results from Appify. Some companies have websites, so we can use that to find some emails. But to give you an idea of what the final result looks like, so these are a lot of the emails that we have. And as you can see, a lot of them, <clears throat> they are these people that personal email, like uh, at Hotmail, at Gmail, at AOL. So a lot of, well, personal emails because these are small businesses. In a lot of cases, they either register a Gmail address for their business or they just use their personal Gmail address and or Outlook or what have you. And if you still want to reach these people, then this is how you do it. So we have the, the scrape right here. And a lot of these companies, they are obviously on Facebook. And Facebook is potentially the best source of contact information for these people. And all that you do is you go and find that company's Facebook page by scraping Google search results. So you just really basically you search um, site facebook.com and then um, the title right here. In here, I have a different search because I was trying this, finding owner at title, um, which gets you sometimes the actual owner, but it takes too much checking for it to be accurate. So you can pretty much remove this. Um, so you just basically look for site facebook.com and then company name. And I'm not saving that because it's probably going to run again. Um, so you perform that search and then the first result is 99 out of a hundred times, if not more often is that company, their Facebook page. So that Facebook page you scrape just using the basic clay scraper. Now that is not the cheapest way. You can also use, for example, one, so you can use clay to find all the Facebook pages of those companies. You can then export those and uh, import those into here. Then for 20 bucks a month, you get the, the email addresses and everything that these companies have listed. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So this is the email address that we're getting. So just on a company's Facebook page, these people often have the email address listed. So this is the one that we're scraping. You can do that using the Facebook page contact info scraper, but that would include an additional step, but you would save a lot of, um, a lot of clay credits because each row in this case is another clay credit. So it's up to you. If you have a small batch, like I have, this works. If you're talking thousands and thousands of companies, what I would do is, um, either use serper.dev. 
So that is, um, uh, check out Eric Noslowski's latest video where on YouTube, where he talks about using Serper, then you can do all of this a lot cheaper instead of, you know, how I'm doing it. So you get all the results, you get all the Facebook pages, you export those into Epify, and then those results you get back into Clay and you like VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP um, then to, um, into a shared table. There is a cheaper way of doing it. If you're, if you're doing a couple of hundred, like I'm doing, just do it this way. You spend a couple hundred credits and that's it. Otherwise go with the cheaper way. So it scrapes and it, um, it gets, so whenever you go to this page without logging in, you get the standard like Facebook login page, like you have to log in to proceed and all that, but it still gets the contact info. So it still gets, you know, whatever is, let's say below the pop-up, right? So Facebook login, um, but it also gets the, um, the actual body text that is, that is here. So it actually gets this, this right here which is essentially what we want. Um, and it actually already extracts the email for us, but it's not exactly clean, right? So we want to clean this up. So it adds the phone number in front of it and it gets the, um, um, the email address. And then, then it gets the, the text that is, that is behind here. It's like some of the text that is behind here. We want to clean that up. We use a basic formula for that to clean that up. Uh, let's see. So it replaces all the numbers and other characters like the, the horizontal, like the hyphen here. So it basically replace, like removes all the characters before the first letter. So here, like the H, the OI, the N, the S, unless their email address one, two, three, Sean at what have you, it's not gonna work, but um, I would say that not ever happens. Uh, never happens. And so this works. It removes all the numbers in front of the email address. And in this case, after the first instance of .com, it removes everything else. So here the email address is, um, is followed by the, um, the company, like the company website URL. It removes that. You can obviously add, you know, other extent like .net, .co, .uk, wherever you're scraping just to improve your match rate. But in this case, it's because I wanted to do the tutorial. I just went with .com. So basically, this formula helps you um, helps you clean this right here and gets you the email address. Also, add .com if there's nothing, which um, uh, we'll clean up in a minute. Then to increase our match rate, we also scrape the actual website of the company to get whatever email we can find on there. So that still gets you some other emails like team ad, info ad, also gets you some, um, some, you know, actual other email addresses that we couldn't get from Facebook that, uh, that work like this one right here. That's a pretty good email that we can use. So it will pretty drastically increase your match rate. Then we just like, this looks messy and why have you, but it just basically goes through the same process. Okay. These results, you have the same issue. Great. Just the same formula, clean those results. Then this formula removes all the .com mentions from here. It just leaves us with a bunch of email addresses. And then this column does the same before the other one. And then we merge those into the master email column right here. So a lot of messy data here, but it's basically just a bunch of formulas to clean up the data that we scraped. And then we merge that into the master email column right here. And as you can see, we get some really, really good emails and a really good match rate as well. Let me see how many emails we get where master email um, is not empty. And that is, let's say 200 out of 300 emails we found. And you know, they're all going to be valid. I mean, the ones from the website, maybe you want to validate them, but don't think you should. Um, yeah, like I would validate those, uh, honestly. So yeah, I will validate those, but either way, 200 out of 300, that's a really great score. Maybe you're going to be left with 150, 180 emails. So you get, um, uh, between the 50 to 70, 80% match rate, which, um, which I think is really, really good for scraping emails for local businesses that a lot of people have pretty much no way of reaching, um, or they're going to be reaching out to the generic emails like these ones, but then you're also going to be reaching out to the personal emails of these people on which they almost never get 
um, cold email unless someone um, or went through this process or manually scrape Facebook, which not a lot of people are, uh, are doing. So that's how you can find really, really good contact info for local businesses. You scrape Google Maps, you find the Facebook page, you scrape the Facebook page, and then as a fallback, you also scrape their website for other emails, and you're left with a lot of emails that you can send cold emails to. Hope that was helpful. As always, any questions, suggestions, anything else, you can leave them in the comments. For now, thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.